This is Dr. Stuart Cloda, and I'm an addiction medicine physician in New York City. Today I'm going to talk about the addiction to intravenous opiates and opioids, such as heroin and oxycodone. In my opinion, the addiction to intravenous opiates is different than the addiction to when the drug is taken by mouth or inhaled nasally. Many patients have described to me the entire process of injecting as being equivalent to a sexual experience or even better. Dissolving the pill or powder in water, heating it up, preparing the syringe, tying up and finding a vein have all been described to me as equivalent to increasing levels of sexual arousal. Getting the flashback of blood into the syringe and injecting the drug is equivalent to climax. This makes for a highly powerful psychological experience, is extremely reinforcing, and promotes urges and cravings to use more and more. In addition, the bioavailability of intravenous opioids is 100%. This means that the entire amount of the drug is available to exert its effects. In contrast, the bioavailability of oral oxycodone, for example, is about 60 to 90 percent, and the bioavailability of oxycodone when inhaled nasally is about 50 to 70 percent. Inhaling oxycodone nasally does provide more of a rush than taking a pill. However, the effect from nasal inhalation pales in comparison to injecting the drug intravenously. If you have any questions, you can give me a call at 646-713-6578. Thank you.